Michaela and Shayna online. online and today we are on set of the Hallmark Channel's Home and Family Show with the amazing host, host Mark Sinus. Yay! How did you know I was amazing? Who told you that? You just figured it out on yeah, your own, I didn't you? Yeah, it out, you know? I knew you were smart. How are you today? I am good. Look at you girls. You're all dressed Thank up. You, you too. We, wow. I'm just in my old work clothes. We're getting ready to do the show rehearsing. When I saw you guys last was where? The Night and of a Hundred Stars event. And you exactly. melted your um, os an Oscar into I it. did. I, I, I took my Oscar and I melted it into a tie. Yes. Um, that would be a fib. Oh. Um, until fibs. So, what brings you by the set today? Well, we're here to oh, interview you. you. Me? Yeah! Oh. We have a bunch right. of questions for you, so... Fire away. All right. <laughs> How did you get started in journalism? That's a really good question. I started actually behind the camera. I was a camera operator. I know, cool. jaw on the floor. But I eventually had some people really encourage me and say, you should be on the other side of the camera. And then I ended up like you guys in front of the camera, and I started reporting. Wow. Who's the most famous person you've interviewed? That's a really good question. I once knew these really adorable, cute girls, Michaela and Shana, 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 yeah. Do you know them? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, they, they were so famous. <laughs> I adored them, and they probably forgot who I was by now because they're probably huge stars. Yeah, no, you know, I've interviewed right? a lot of celebrities because, you know, I worked with Entertainment Tonight for so many years. So everybody from Brad Pitt to Tom Cruise to Julia Roberts and mm. Cher and all of those people. Oh, Brad Pitt, wow. Brad Pitt, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Lucky duck. And uh, <laughs> we've heard that when you first started out, you had your first job was to interview the president, right? And so you went to the president, mm -hmm. and you talked to the Secret Service. I'm here to shoot the president. I know. You How heard that, that story. <laughs> I know. I kind of got my career off on the wrong foot. Okay, here's how the story goes. Okay. I was in Waterloo, Iowa. I had just started off as a cameraman, and I was sent out to shoot one of my very first stories. And it was, at the time, the president was on re-election, and he was campaigning, and he was going to run with the track team at Waterloo West High School. So Which as, president was it? This was um, President Bush, the, oh. the, the senior dad. Oh. So we went. I went, and he was going to jog with the team. And when I got there, Secret Service was set up, and I was the first one there because I was very anxious. And I got there, I walked up to the Secret Service, and I didn't want to, I didn't, couldn't, I didn't think they would know what, if I said I'm here to get B-roll of the president, or I'm here to, you know, all I said, I was just here to shoot the president, meaning I was going to take his picture with my camera, and before I knew it, the words came out of my mouth, and they looked at me and turned their heads, and they went, mm-mm, and they went through all of my stuff, all my car, they checked me, it was just a poor choice of words. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Aww. I know. You have to be careful what you say sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Big mistake. Did they find anything suspicious? <laughs> Are you keeping any Next secrets? Next question, please. <laughs> Boxers or briefs? <laughs> <laughs> I was... <laughs> I briefs, stumped if you. you must know, they were briefs. <laughs> and now more. I know Mark. Everybody wants to know, how did such a funny. handsome man like you from a small town in Iowa, Iowa, how did you make get so big in Hollywood? What's your secret? <laughs> Are you like her? <laughs> She's the straight man. <laughs> She's the straight man. I, you know what, you can, a lot of people don't know this, but you can buy success in this town. Oh, you can? No, you can't. Oh. Uh, you just have to work. I just worked hard. That's all I did, right? <laughs> right? You just work hard, like you guys. We, we also know that you are a photographer. I, am. I do. I love photography. So, yeah, some of your pictures are, like, so very pretty and very amazing, Thank too. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have them around the house. There's some on the walls up in here. This we just right here. Yeah, the that's orchid. an orchid. Yes, I did some macro photography. I just think the world is so interesting when you get up close to it.
and I also photograph a lot of things when I'm, I just, I've shot pictures since I was in high school. I used to shoot on our high school yearbook and for our newspaper, and I've always felt um, that it was an interesting way to sort of document your life. What's one of your most favorite pictures that you've taken? Well, I love taking pictures of my two boys. Aww. There's two pictures in this house, you can go look at them, but um, of my boys. They're great because it, it, it allows me to sort of see them differently. But I do enjoy all kinds of photography. I love doing the macro stuff because we get to see all the beautiful creations uh, that are around us every single day and really up close. But I also love to work with people because I work behind the camera or in front of the cameras and I really am more comfortable behind the camera. Don't tell anybody that or you know, they may not think I'm so comfortable up here. And um, so I enjoy that. How old are your children? My youngest is nine and my oldest is 11. Oh, are you looking for a date or something? Uh, no, not right now. Not right now. You're kind of busy, yeah. Yeah, my yeah mom you got won't it. let me. Ah, you got a lot going on right now, though, too. Yeah. But you are dressed up Too like you're going out on a date. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're all pretty. <laughs> so you used to be an actor? Well, I did do some acting, and I went to acting school. But in a funny world, I think the acting training that I had actually made me a better interviewer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because in acting, so? it's about... Well, and good, great, quick, good follow-up. Oh. See? And that's a no, good no indication because good interviews are about listening. And acting is about listening and reacting. So if you're really good at that, you listen and you react. And that's why all of a sudden I got better oh, at my yeah. right? When you pay attention to what yeah, they're saying. when you do the improv, you're like, you say something, they have to listen and then react. Mm -hmm. And it, it helps you really sort of engage with the person you're interviewing. When you were, when you were an actor, did you, uh, what kind of parts did you book? Well, I did, I did some comedy stuff. I was on Suddenly Susan. Uh, back in the day, you were probably not even born then. Uh, but I did uh, other roles that I played uh, a security guy, actually a, a Secret Service guy in a movie, oh, Nixon. It. <laughs> but it's just one line. I think it's the first line in the movie. And then um, there was a variety of other kind of journalist roles that I played or a game show host. Mm. Yeah. What kind of game shows? Well, uh, there was, I think I did on Medium, I played a game show host at the beginning of the show. You can do that. But I also um, auditioned for and came this close to getting The Price is Right as uh, oh the replacement gosh. for Bob Barker. Yes, I know. Fancy oh. that. Fancy what, pants. What made you choose other avenues other than your acting career? Um, well, you know, you have to see what opportunities come your way, right? And can I just point out how good you guys are? You not once looked at your note cards. Mm. I know, right? You're just good listeners, aren't you? Yep. Yep, right, right. They don't even need these. There's cards here. They haven't looked down at all to, to pay attention. Look at, oh, look at that. On the floor. Like, gone. Gone. In the moment. Get the candle, the why end. don't you? Right? Jeez. Jeez. I just saw the candle flicker and I'm like, oh, I'm going to flick mine with style. <laughs> oh, Hit yeah. the candle. <laughs> How was it like working on Entertainment Tonight? It was wonderful. Well, what would it, what, what would you, I mean, think about it. Get to go to all these movie sets and hang out with the stars and travel all over the world? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> How did you get started in Entertainment Tonight? Um, gosh, that's a good question. I just got a phone call one day to go in and meet with the producers, and then I auditioned for the show, and next thing I know... I'm on the show. Wow. Isn't that neat? Yeah, that's how, pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. Call me. How did, how did you get, uh, how do you get to be a star of your own show, though? Um, uh, we just, like, we started. We called ourselves, and then. And you did? did and, you and, and, yeah, we, and then we had auditions yeah, for each other, and then. Oh, did you almost get it? Did you not get it? Almost, yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah. Didn't get it. Oh, you didn't get it either. I, did, I had to kind of pay myself to get the cable. Oh, you did? Oh, you yeah. bribed yourself? Yeah, so, because I was, I was auditioning her, Criminal. so I had to bribe myself to get her on the show. Oh. Now, have you I, guys ever sat down and interviewed each other? Uh, I think we have you once have? in the past or something. Once, I'm not sure, though. Was there, is there one riveting question you would like to ask her that maybe she hasn't answered and has told nobody? What is your deepest, darkest secret, Michaela? Come Wait, on. And now get ready. Cue the music. Dun, 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 dun. I'm a vampire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you sparkling in the sunlight? You know, right?
No, it's fluorescent lighting in here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know they're lighting. You even know what's good or bad lighting. It's fluorescent lighting. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Okay. So you watch the show. Yes. Yes. And other than, uh, you can't say you like me best. What do you like about the show best? Because I know you're, you guys would be like, we like you, Mark. <laughs> no, what do you like about the show? Do you like the cooking stuff, the DIY, do your, your self projects? Do you like gardening stuff? Like the interviews? I kind of like the projects are pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, the projects are pretty cool and get the make food stuff. on the set too. No, the food. The food on the set. <laughs> what kind of food did you have today? Um, We probably shouldn't say because our mom's watching this. Hi, Mommy. Uh, <laughs> now it makes it sound like um, I, have a, I have a bad influence on you. <laughs> that they come here and then you get bad food. Junk! <laughs> they didn't junk out. We fed them no. apples. We had and salad food and, and celery. Celery. And and yeah. that juice with kale in it. Yes. Yeah, so we had and kale. and you know what was great? And that's what I love about these young, wonderful women. They have smothered it all in Nutella, which was great. <laughs> it's nothing like an apple you can't see yeah. smothered in Nutella. <laughs> How did you get your start on your new show, Home and Family? Well, I had to get my own home and my own family first and practice there. <laughs> ah. Right? So yeah. I had to I had to rent one of those. They're expensive. I know, right? The house, not so much, but to rent someone's family is costly. Yeah, I know. Days. How do you do and that? And then I practiced with them. I, you know what? The opportunity came up and I said, I love that show. I want to do that show. And here I am sitting on the couch with you guys right now. <gasps> oh, no. oh, my gosh. Futurist. <laughs> <laughs> Here you have a race coming up. What's this about? I do have a race coming up. You have been doing your research, haven't you? Mm. I am racing. Stocking. For <laughs> I have been racing. I'm racing for charity, and for children's hospitals, and for my organization that I work closely with, which is Lighthouse Medical Missions, to help send uh, doctors and medical supplies over to needy boys and girls and children and, and families in Africa. And I'm racing in the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach Pro Celebrity Race. Awesome. It's a car race. I'm a little right? bit celebrity, a little bit pro. I'm right in there. So it's I'm a little it's bit a race, race, right? Too. Yes, it is a car race, and we, we race around the track, the Grand Prix Long uh, of Long Beach race track where the Formula One cars race, right before they race. Ooh, do you think mm. you'll win? Do I think I'll win, or do I know I'll win? Do you what know what did he win? say? Yeah, I'm going to win it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You fast driver? I'm a very safe driver. And speaking of Africa, you took some photos of, uh, you went to? I did go to Africa. I went to Sierra Leone and tour the country with the medical team and took photos and documented their journey so we could use those photos to tell a story when we came back home to help raise money and awareness. Because, you know, a picture is worth how many words? Say a thousand. A thousand. How did you know that? A million. I'll go with a million. She had to outdo you. A trillion. A trillion. Infinity. Infinity. Boom. It does me and beyond. Oh, you beat me. <laughs> I win. <laughs> does your show, let me ask you, does your show have personality at all? Yeah. No, we're like no, we're so straight dead as pan. a board. Stick Just in the mud. Dead pun. Yeah. All, that shirt, all that stuff. So dead pun. Boring. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> when you went to Africa, mm -hmm. uh, you were telling us a story just earlier about mm. you brought um, the wife from Everyone yes. Loves Raymond. Yes, Patricia Heaton came with us over there, and she took money and built a school, and they, they, de they dedicated it to her mother, whose name is also Patricia Heaton. And it was very, um, you know, the children over there, they don't teach the girls how to read. They don't send them to school because the women tend to uh, be needed at home. So they have to cook and take care of the, the men. So what they're trying to do is educate the country, if, you know, from the boys and girls on up. And they don't have clean drinking water. Aww. They have to, I know, they have to go carry big gallon, five gallon jugs of water on their heads filled with water. And then they bring them back and they have to let it settle. They boil the water to, to kill anything that's in it and let it all settle and then skim it all. It's a lot just for water. Wow. So it's pretty, yeah, it's a very difficult place to live. So we're trying to make the world a better place. Maybe your show could go over there sometime. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your interview. Sure. Thank Wonderful. You. Oh, and, and since you are going to race, on oh, your mark, mark, get set, go! Go, go Mark, go! <laughs>
<laughs> Here you Is go. Is that for me? Yes, and that one's for you too. Oh, great. Look at this. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You can stick Thank that you. on your car like a safety I device. will. I'm going to leave Put a... it on the top and let it go. Yes. You drive and, then and you're going to follow me, right? Yeah. I will be sending window. pictures out on my Twitter account. Give me a high five. Bang. Yeah. Give me a high five. Bang. Thank you so much for your interview, Thank and you. we hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Big fan. Bye. Bye. Bye.